Hello, I'm Mel. I'm socialmediatraffic.com. For tips to increase traffic to your website with YouTube, it's the first part demonstrated and narrated by James Wedmore. If you've been building your email list for more than a day, you know the importance of offering something for free in order to encourage visitors to opt in and subscribe, right? Coaches, authors, software companies, they all do this with PDFs, free video series, or audio downloads. Big brands do this too. Opt in for a free shipping or discount on your first order, etc. This is our irresistible free offer. Something so good you should be charging money for it, but you don't. You give it away for free. So, what is your free offer? The secret to getting plus 20% of your viewers to convert into loyal email subscribers begins with something that Ramit Safety calls the congruent carrot. The topic of your video is relevant to your free offer. For example, if you're making a video teaching guys how to bulk up with a specific workout routine, I wouldn't offer them a free report or a free video series on how to get a six pack. It's a close match, but it's not close enough. Instead, I'd offer something like a bulk up in 30 days PDF. Much, much more relevant. Create a series of YouTube videos that are directly relevant to your free offer and you'll drastically increase your list building efforts. Now, let's talk about how we're going to actually get people off of YouTube and onto that website of yours. YouTube traffic tactic number one, your call to action. If even one viewer has successfully made it to the end of your video, congratulations. It means they liked you and your content. You need to tell them now, not ask them, what to do next. And a compelling call to action consists of three main ingredients. Tell people what to do, how to do it, and of course, why to do it. And to put this whole thing on steroids, you can also add a button or a graphic to your video and point at it. YouTube traffic tactic number two, the external link annotation. Hopefully YouTube won't be getting rid of annotations anytime soon. For me, I personally love the external link annotation. You can highlight images and turn them into clickable buttons, or you can create big, fat, clickable annotations right on your video, anywhere you like. Annotations take just seconds to create, and they work, especially when you point at them, like this. YouTube traffic tactic number three, cards. YouTube's newest feature is cards. In short, they're a classy upgrade to the annotations function. They have a simple and clean look, plus they allow you to add a graphic to support your call to action. And yes, you can link to your associated website from a card. For now, I recommend using both your cards and your annotations simultaneously. YouTube traffic tactic number four, your description link. Now we're taking it back old school style, because in the old days, this is all we had a link in the description box. And it still works, so don't forget about it. Just make sure you put a simple call to action with the full URL link and include the HTTP and do it in the first two lines of your description box so it doesn't get cut off. Tips five, six, and seven will follow in my next video. In the meantime, see more of James by clicking this link here or in the description box of the video you're watching. Social media traffic. Instantly maximize your income with social media networks. For tips and strategies, get free instant access. Go now to my website, I'm socialmediatraffic.com. Click here or in the description box of the video you're watching.